Okay, so we're in the lobby with Dr. Mark Vardy uh, at Wendell Family Chiropractic in Wendell. And uh, his TV is right on the digital cliff. Sometimes it picks up good, sometimes it doesn't. He needs a little bit better antenna. So we're going to talk about the uh, digital stream and, and what the TV is looking for. His TV is digital ready already. He doesn't need a converter box or anything, but his antenna is just not cutting it. Okay, so this is your antenna. Works fine for VHF, but it doesn't do very well for UHF, which most of the digital uh, signals are UHF. Let's go in the back and I'll show you what this is good for. Okay. Are you ready? Well, as a chiropractor, what we do is we look at this thing right here. This is your spine. Your spine basically uh, is made up of a series of bones, and inside these bones is a canal, and in that canal, there's a main nerve called your spinal cord. Your spinal cord connects your brain to the rest of your body. And each little vertebrae has an opening where those nerves come out on the left and on the right, and then they go to different parts of your body. Your heart, your lungs, your stomach are all innervated by the nerves that come out of the spine. Chiropractors look for problems along this spine that will create uh, stress to those nerves and basically by having that level of stress there the communication between your brain and these other organs in your body does not function at hundred percent that creates anything from let's say if it was a stomach you can get indigestion uh, if it's a heart you may have hypertension uh, different things that will occur from the stresses that come to those nerves uh, if it was the lungs you can get an irritation to the nerves that make you more susceptible to things like an asthma attack so chiropractors look, they don't treat hypertension, they don't treat asthma, they don't treat indigestion, we treat the spine. We look for these problems that are here uh, and the pressure on the nerves, which will create those, those symptoms. All right, I can tell you you've done that speech before. The backbone in a digital big stream is similar in that the TV station is the brains of the system. We use a technique called forward error correction, which means we tell your receiver to expect a packet of data and exactly what is in that packet. We send a whole lot of data telling your receiver what the data is. Some packets are picture information, but there's also sound channels, program guides, and tables in the stream to tell your box exactly what to do with each packet. If one or two of those packets of data are lost, the receiver can use the previous and next packet to determine what is missing. And in many cases, patch the missing packet hole just fine. When several packets are lost, then you'll see a problem in the picture such as pixelation and blocking. Modern receivers have improved and handle a variety of issues such as multipath pretty well. Remember I have been telling you multipath is our biggest enemy. When an RF signal bounces, it will arrive at the receiver a little later than the main signal. Your receiver is programmed to only obey the master plan we send from the transmitter, as in this packet will be here at a certain time, so ignore any others. A multipath signal usually varies in strength, and unfortunately, sometimes the bounce signal can override the main stream. The receiver will toggle back and forth between the two streams, causing errors in the picture. The key to a happy bit stream is a directional antenna that keeps the backbone in line. Okay, Dr. Vardy, we've got you a great picture here in Wendell. You've also got an office over in Nightdale at Plantation Square. They just opened up a brand new Best Buy over there, so go over to Best Buy. They've got a great selection of antennas since they're new. Pick you out an antenna and hook it up over there, and you'll be good to go there, too. About how much are you going to have to pay for an antenna? Now one like we're doing right now is about forty dollars. You don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Uh, one thing about Best Buy and Circuit City and the places like that, they have a good return policy. So you know, if it doesn't work, take it back. Okay.